it's basically December, it's, but it's quite uh, hot here, you know, because we have this all uh, wonderful, uh, very grungy location. This is called the Kumbharwada, which happens to be in Dharavi, Sayan. Uh, Dharavi is popularly known as the biggest slum area of India. But then they have a lot of workshops, basically small-scale industries like leather. And we are here in Kumbharwada, basically um, Kumbhar means um, people who um, do all kind of pottery, you know. And so we can see these beautiful urban pots being here. And we're going to shoot some um, with a very entry-level basic Fujifilm camera called the X-T100 um, and the legendary Fujifilm 35mm 1.4. And uh, I hope uh, this is going to be um, an enjoyable experience. This particular location is, you know, there is a lot of, um, you know, play of uh, shadow and light, you know, and people doing the work, a lot of smoke coming, if you see this location, so there is a very nice source of light coming and then there are shadows, so picture gives, um, you know, when you click some pictures like this, it gives that amazing depth, you know, and especially with the 35mm 1.4, uh, when you shoot wide open, it's going to give that very beautiful uh, bouquet. You know, I'm going to show you some pictures also, so you can get an idea about how beautiful this grungy, beautiful and amazing location is. This is like a, a Disney world for a photographer. Yeah. So this gentleman, he just gave us a little information about how this is made. This is basically a, you know, kind of an oven, you can call it. And um, this guy, he is from uh, Gorakhpur, a city uh, uh, from Uttar Pradesh. And he just, came, he just told us that they make the clay floor pot and they keep that pot inside this oven for like, you know, like 12 hours. Like he has kept one batch yesterday at 8 p.m. and today at 8 p.m. he'll be removing it, you know. And so this is like kind of a fresh product which has been made out of it. So this is this is a, a quite interesting um, you know place. I have I've been in Bombay all my life and born and brought up here, but I never knew that um, where actually this pots are made. You know, and um, so far it has been a very incredible experience. So, for 25 years, you have been here with your family? No, no. I mean, where are you? Uttar Pradesh. And you have been here with your health? I mean, 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 your health? Or, how many hours of duty do you have? We have to take 4 hours of duty. Yes. If I stole uh, somebody else's wave to fly up And if I rose up, up with the avenue behind me 
So, as uh, you can see there, um, you're gonna go out now because it was an incredible experience. You can see that I'm absolutely sweating. And to be very honest, and 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 being absolutely uh, non-partial, this entry-level Fujifilm X300 absolutely worked remarkably. It's length, I don't know. I mean, I can understand now why people have this, uh, you know, uh, amazing uh, love relationship with this um, Fujifilm lens because this is an outstanding lens. You get that really beautiful uh, depth of field, now out of focus backgrounds and all. And uh, this camera, you know, I mean, it has all the film simulations. Um, it is excellent performer. Of course, it is not meant for, um, you know, a high speed action or wildlife that kind because Fujifilm has a couple of uh, amazing cameras specifically built for that, you know. But then this lens, this camera, sorry, this camera, the X200, in my opinion, anybody who is um, new to photography or who wants to up their photographic game, uh, say from, uh, you know, a cell phone to a proper, um, you know, mirrorless system, uh, this camera, the x 300 provides incredible value. And I stress incredible value because uh, the output of the images, the pictures are simply uh, amazing, you know, and, and they are, um, I mean, I, I still don't know how Fujifilm could like pull this, uh, you know, a solid game when it comes to extended because it is built solidly. It is a very, very, um, you know, heavy, uh, it's a, I wouldn't say heavy, but it's a substantially solid kind of a camera. Uh, the lens are very nicely. I, I shoot in manual mode. So this particular dial I have assigned to ISO. This is um, the mode dial where you can see, you can see it's on M mode. And this dial, you know, is on shutter speed. Plus, the aperture can be set from the lens, as we all know in Fujifilm. Most of, I mean, 99% of the lens is in Fujifilm camera. And plus, you have a nice uh, command dial here too. The buttons are all tactile, and, and it's, it's just an amazing, um, you know, um, camera in hand. Um, plus, they give this very uh, nice um, uh, grip, which you can actually unscrew if you like the camera to be uh, flat looking it would even look good and otherwise if you want a little grip and and this this seriously provides a very good grip then they have this very nice thumb grip where the camera actually fits very i have very small hands as you can see the camera absolutely fits amazing in my hand regarding this and oh yeah the evf the evf also fujifilm has not skimped here because the evf is actually the same resolution what you get in their, um, you know, uh, a little um, higher grade cameras like the XT20, XT30. And uh, everything is very laid out. Everything is very cool. Uh, you can see that, you know, uh, there's this Q menu where you can just go and just function, you know, change your functions, whatever are very important for you. You can customize them on the Q menu. Um, and, and the best part about the screen is the screen can, you know, actually flip. So in case if you want to make some kind of in videos, you can. Um, at the same time, again, it looks like this. Plus, you can make this kind of in shots, you know, for your, for the amazing kind of in, you know, this is another very, very good angle if you want to shoot some top angle shots and all. And it has been, an, to be very honest with you, I didn't expect that um, the XT100, which is um, like, you know, an entry level camera would perform so great. Uh, this camera, uh, if you if you go on Amazon or Flipkart, is selling for uh, like um, you know around 35k, and which I think is a incredible value. Right? You can probably uh, order it from Amazon, or you can go in a lot of Fujifilm authorized uh, showrooms, and you can pick there. Uh, the advantage of buying there, if you are a very uh, newbie to the photography world, is that the Fujifilm has this very talented, very trained promoters in all uh, the retail stores who who explain you in detail about how the camera functions to make your photography experience absolutely great. Above all, uh, I am seriously thankful to Mr. Shadab Alam, who also happens to work for uh, Fujifilm. I'm going to show you um, who is Shadab, by the way. Okay, so this is Shadab Alam. And, um, sorry, because of the flip flop happened. And um, he's also a very, very talented promoter working for Fujifilm Camera. And I'm thankful to Fujifilm India um, Ashwini Joshi, Saurabh Joshi, Rajendra Chaudhary, uh, and all the uh, Fujifilm employees uh, also 
um, special thanks to Ritesh uh, Mangi, who specially came, gave me this camera, explained me uh, the kind of unique features this camera has. And uh, to be very honest, uh, the experience has been very incredible. One more very important thing, which I, you know, I forgot to mention, the battery life is absolutely amazing. And if you have any other Fujifilm cameras already with you, so this battery is something which you can interchangeably use with other cameras also. Like the, it is the same uh, battery capacity which you will find in X100F or X-T2 or X-T3. Uh, um, and uh, uh, there is a lot of hype about this particular lens, the 35mm 1.4. And I think that the lens absolutely lives up to the hype to which it has uh, generated since um, Fujifilm launched this uh, lens. I think probably, if I'm not mistaken, it is um, seven or eight years before. And uh, it's incredible. Only one thing which I don't like about this lens is the, the kind of um, lens uh, hood, uh, the, sorry, not hood, the cap which comes. It's a, a rubbery cap. The quality is good, but it doesn't uh, fit perfectly here. But uh, somehow, the if you can see, the hood looks absolutely sexy, you know. And the entire experience of, you know, this manual dials, you're changing it, you don't have to chimp into the screen and change uh, your settings and everything. Um, it, it's, just an, it's just an amazing little um, camera um, to use, you know. And, and it comes in three colors. Uh, that's what I've been told. Um, uh, I've not seen them. Uh, I've just used the black, so I know the black. But people say that the gold color also looks absolutely stunning. It is a, not a proper garish gold. It is a champagne gold um, color, which looks very subtle, very nice. Gives that very retro kind of an uh, old contacts camera kind of a look. And then there is a, um, I think, dark gray. You know, that also looks very sexy. And if you want a very discreet camera for your street photography and all, so I think the black... Uh, version looks pretty cool and the beauty of this mirrorless system especially the future film is the cameras the lenses everything is so small so when you do street photography and all it doesn't intimidate people you know it absolutely doesn't intimidate people uh, people don't even know that you are like you know clicking pictures because a huge dslr generally creates a lot of curiosity especially uh, in a city like mumbai but this something stays in your small little bag and you just pull it off Click some pictures, and um, I have uh, I have the kit lens which I have not uh, used extensively, which I'm also going to use, and hopefully I'll make a video about that lens, which will be like today. I just wanted to show you that what you can achieve in this kind of a location with one camera and one lens, right? And so we are going to try and use the kit lens also and show that how powerful the kit lens is, what are the limitations, what are the positives of that lens, and um, hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much.